greetings according to your time this is what sharon if it posted on her page you can see it but before we start everything in this video is allegedly hello viewers greetings according to your time good morning good afternoon good evening if you are new here don't forget to join the panel and if you are returning you are highly welcome please don't forget a whole lot of things that we are going to discuss in this video but before we start let's hear from sharon ifidi let's listen to what she said she says she's back hi everyone how are you doing i'm back again like i never left to say Again, like she never left. This is a very strong word coming out from this young girl. What really happened? I know that is what you want to see. According to the video, according to everything circulating the internet, it says that Sharon actually was warned by a way from Zubi Michael, but she didn't hear. She gave all no ears, and now she's back again, like she never left. When she went to stay with Zubi Michael. All the noble way, the way she thought it would go. And now she's back again sharing her story. This is what she posted on her page concerning how her boyfriend is maltreating her. People began to ask if it's a real boyfriend that they know or is it just acting? Is it happening in real life? People want to know. And as I time I'm making this video, Sharon Ifedi is still not creating content and posting with Zubi Michael as usual. If you check her page right now, there's no content about these two people again. So people are not asking that if what she posted is true or not. You that you are viewing this video right now, what is your advice for Sharon Ifidi? Would you advise her to stay where she is or she should come out and get a, a better person? Now let's read comments that people drop. This person say, those moments you enjoy with him, do you know that part and to carry your red face go front then this person say i really love your energy and seriousness this is sorry my love please forgive him to see people saying this she's just saying to, to this one say boyfriend not not even husband now she won't buy this one say why crying? What really happened, my love? A lot of people are so curious to know about what happened when she must have come out to drop this video. Now, there's this popular thing going on about domestic bars both between husband and wife, and people are beginning to ask if there's a serious issue between her and Zubi Michael. People were also suspecting that could it be Zubi Michael that is doing this to her or is it someone that they don't know her about? Because the last time we heard, the last news we got, we heard that she and Zubi Michael have done their engagement and also their traditional wedding. Supposing that they are living in the same house. Like I said earlier, everything in this video is allegedly. It's just internet news. We are not there with them, but we are saying according to what we are saying. So few days after the wedding, she came out to post some things, saying that somebody is maltreating with her face looking like this, with her phone screen like this. You can see how she's holding it. It means that maybe all is not going well. Now people began to also say that if there's an ethical to go her separate way from Zoe Michael. They do not see any reason why Sharon to be staying here with him. What is your perception? What is your opinion about what is happening? Would you advise Sharon Ifidi to stay there with whoever she is with that is doing this to her or she should come out of it? But I'm glad and I'm happy that she's out because she just came out to also post that she's back that like she never left. Then she began to explain friends what she expects she don't want to come out directly to see what really happened but she decided to explain things about friendship some friends that you have and have this maybe she's trying to explain indirectly about types of people that you can live with and then let's watch the video as she hi everyone Thank how are you doing i'm back again like i never left to say something so this time around, I want to talk on. I'm feeling my hair. <laughs> I want to talk on the 
types and kind of friends we have. Firstly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Firstly, our cannot bring this jacket or board. Firstly, we have um, friends that will stand with you behind your back and even in your presence. Friends that will support you. Friends that will be also loving and caring in front of you and even behind your back. There are friends like that. And that friend is in this world. Thank you so much for staying to this time. If you have watched to this level, we are a great fan of Sharon Ifidi. Don't forget to spread the love by sharing it to your WhatsApp status, your Instagram story, your Facebook handle, everywhere shareable. Please share this video because it will go a long way. What is your advice for someone in a domestic bath booth? Do you think they should stay there and pray for the person to change? Do you think they should stay there with over time everything will work out well do you think they should stay there and try to have a baby for their partner maybe after having a baby everything will settle and everyone will start behaving well don't forget to drop whatever you think at the comment section and also if you love sharon don't forget to drop a love emoji for him and if you also love Zubi michael don't forget to drop a love emoji for him everything in this video is allegedly because we are not there with them we are only saying based on what we are seeing based on what they decide to post on social media but in my own advice anywhere you are and it's not peaceful there's no joy there's no enjoyment there i'll advise the person neither my relative or not to try as much as possible to live there do not even think about the money the luxury house the luxury cars everything you're enjoying there just try as much as possible to get a new place there are always a better option out there if you look for something you will get it and the only thing you need is just prayer to go to lead you to the right path me that is my own word of advice for her don't forget to drop your own word of advice for her also at the comment section i'm going to be at the comment section reading all you have to drop now before i end the video i want to quickly appreciate you all for supporting me on the channel anytime i post a video you always you know like it drop your comments and also distribute it to your loved ones i'm really grateful i'm seeing all the things you are doing god bless you god will continue to bless you thank you so much for your support and also i want to say that if you are anywhere in abuja and you would like to buy a veil like a jesse scarf like what you are seeing right now on the screen i'm selling it don't forget to drop it at the comment section it's very affordable and the good part of this view is you can wear it on any outfit you can also wear it either a christian or a muslim you can as well buy it and get someone and the person really appreciates it the quality of this thing is so smooth it's so nice it's not that kind of view that if you just roll it it will lose by itself if you decide to roll it it will stay if you decide to tie it it will still stay so it's very good and it will not fade on time because when you are washing it it doesn't remove color at all so it won't fade on time and also it's very smooth it's very very smooth i can't wait for you to get it and feel it thank you so much the name is jesse scarf so if you like to buy don't forget to let me know at the comment section i'll see you in my next video